Hey guys, Lauren Losing here, and I'm here for the first of a few food haul videos just because I have so much to show you guys yet again. Um, I don't think any of these things are going to be repeats either, maybe a couple. Um, I'm sorry for my appearance. I went to the gym a couple hours ago and I just have not showered or changed since. Um, so, before I, so this video is going to be kind of like a snacky kind of video. Uh, I'll tell you where I got each thing um, and the stats on them. But before I even get into that, um, I mean, I'll show you a couple of examples. I just want to just quickly talk about the importance of weighing out your servings and not counting them out or measuring them out. Um, certain things, like if it calls for a tablespoon of this, uh, especially if it's like a liquid, a tablespoon of that, of salsa, that's fine. But a tablespoon of like shredded cheese is very subjective. Are you packing it down or is it kind of lightly in there? So I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. This is how um, I divide out my nuts. I have little 100 calorie packs that I did myself. Um, it has, you know, it says 100 on it, so that's 100 calories. I just have the little, like, my little code. So this is HB, so that's habanero barbecue. These are SV, so salt and vinegar, almonds. Um, so these are, so I weighed them out. Um, I think it was 0.6 ounces is 100 calories, or it's 102 calories. Um, and one ounce is the full serving. So it tells you that one ounce is approximately 28 almonds and that is your full serving. Um, so this, in this 100 calorie pack, and so in 0.6 ounces, there are 12 almonds and then in this 0.6 uh, 100 calorie pack, there are 15 almonds. So these almonds are smaller than these ones. Um, I think when I measured out a serving, so the one ounce, it came to about 20 almonds. And so if you're counting out 28, you're eating almost, you're eating about 40% more calories than you think you are. So that's my, well, that's part of my weigh your stuff, if you can. Um, and don't count them out because you are most likely going to be eating more calories than you think you are. Same goes for popcorn. So I do the same thing for popcorn. I do um, little individual servings. These both weigh 21 grams. But since this is kind of like crushed, it looks like it's less than this. So if you were to measure this out in cups, you you know, you would think that you're eating less by eating this one, and um, you're really not. It's the same amount of calories. So those are just, that's my two cents about um, measuring out your food by weight and not by uh, cups or counting them out. Okay, so to get into it, uh, this is my first thing. I just have a can of it right now. This is um, Arnold Palmer zero, half and half, so it has zero calories in it, um, less than one sugar, 10 milligrams of sodium, that's per eight ounces. I get them in the gallon jugs and you can usually find them two for five dollars. Uh, I just grabbed this while I was out today and this is one of my favorite drinks, especially in the summer. Um, it's really good to mix with vodka. <laughs> um, I found this today at Target. I've been looking for it and I haven't been able to find it anywhere else. So it's the Smart Food Delight. So it's white cheddar and it's like a skinny pot. So it has 35 calories per cup. Like I said, weigh it out. Uh, so one ounce is 28 grams. So for one ounce, I would more likely do um, three quarters of an ounce. It's so it's 130 calories, 5 grams of fat, 220 milligrams of sodium, 18 carbs, 3 are from sugar, 1 are, oh, excuse me, 3 are from fiber, 1 are from sugar, and then 3 grams of protein. Um, so I eat popcorn now probably like 
three times a week and I just got this so I will be putting it into individual bags. Um, these, this is also popcorn. Um, I got it at BJ's which is like a Sam's Club or a Costco. Um, I got it in a variety pack so it's it's like skinny pop, it's fit popcorn. And it came in a variety pack so it had real butter, sea salt, and Parmesan herb. Um, the real butter only has 35 calories for this bag, but it's actually, if you uh, read the back, there's less popcorn in this bag than there are in these other kinds. So I don't know why they didn't just put the same amount and make it like a 50 calorie thing. Um, so 35 calories for this one, one gram of fat, six carbs, uh, one from fiber, none from sugar, and one protein. For the sea salt, there are 60 calories, three fat, nine carbs, two fiber, no sugar, one protein, and then for the Parmesan herb, there is 70 calories, three grams of fat, eight carbs, one is from fiber, none from sugar, and two grams of protein. I also have the uh, extra virgin olive oil somewhere, I just forgot to grab it. Um, these I got from Nutrition. Uh, I got a sample pack. They're called Extend Crisps. Um, they're kind of, they're like those like soy little crisp things. So, like I said, I got a sample pack. I got Italian herb, white cheddar, cinnamon, zesty ranch, and honey barbecue. Uh, I'm pretty sure they ha they all have very similar stats. So I'll just read you one of them. Uh, 130 calories per bag, 4 grams of fat, 16 carbs, 3 are from fiber, 2 are from sugars, and 8 grams of protein. So um, I've had these for weeks and I haven't tried them. I really don't eat snacky things very often, especially because they tend to be like 3 quarters of calories of a meal and I'd usually rather have a meal. But I have these in the house just in case I ever get one of those hankerings for something like that. Okay, these I've actually found at, um, I found these at TJ Maxx, I think, like in the home goods section, or actually on the way out. Uh, I really love this brand. Uh, it's called Lesser Evil. Um, I've also had their Chia Pop, and so it was their, like, white cheddar popcorn, and it's really good. I have those in individual, like, servings that I, um, <coughs> put out. So these are Chia Crisps. So they are baked crunchy black bean chips. Uh, there are three different flavors that I've gotten. Uh, this one's crunchy dill pickle. This one is jalapeno white cheddar. And this one is feta and black olive. Uh, as you can see, I haven't tried them yet and I've had them for probably about a month and a half now. Uh, and when I do want to try them, I will put them in individual serving bags. So Calories for one ounce, about 22 crisps. Weigh it out. Uh, 110 calories, three and a half grams of fat, 19 carbs, three are from fiber, one from sugar, and four grams of protein. Um, so like I said, these are a very once in a while type thing. I have them in the house just in case. If you're super watching your carbs, you're probably not going to even want to touch them. If you're carb cycling, have them on your car high carb days. If you don't really give a shit about carbs, if they're healthy ones, I care more about um, you know sugars that aren't coming from a natural source. I don't care if I'm having fruit and there's and then I get sugars in it, but if it's added sugar, that's that's the kind of carbs that I watch out for personally. Okay, these. Um, I got at the Christmas tree shop, but I actually have seen them at regular grocery stores. They just were more inexpensive here. So um, there are quinoa chips, and I got the barbecue, the sour cream and onion, and the cheddar. Uh, so for one ounce, it's 130 calories, 6 grams of fat, 12 carbs, 1 from fiber, 2 sugars, and 9 grams of protein. So tons of protein in those. Um, so if you're really more focused on your protein, even with your snacks, um, then that's probably your best choice out of most of the things that I have for, for the chippy type things. Give me one second, I just dropped something. Okay, these, <laughs> um, well these will be your best bet for protein. Uh, I have not tried these yet, I got them from Nutrition. 
Uh, they tend to be pretty expensive, but I just bought a single bag of each flavor. So um, this one is savory herb and garlic. These are simply protein chips. So savory herb and garlic, uh, barbecue tomato, and spicy chili kick. Uh, so for each bag, it's 140 calories, 4 grams of fat, 11 carbs, 1 from fiber, 2 from sugar, and 15 grams of protein. Okay. These I just found today at Target. Um, if anyone, anyone who shops at, shops at Target, which I believe is most of you out there, if you don't have it, you need to download the Target Cartwheel app. So it's on, it works on anything in Target, so even if you're not grocery shopping there, but I do suggest grocery shopping there. They have some awesome stuff just at Target. Um, and, but even if you're just shopping for clothes. So what you do is when you're in Target, so you open your app, there is a barcode scanner. You scan anything that you're gonna buy and it pops up if there is a special coupon. And these coupons are only on the app. They're not, you can't find them anywhere else. Um, so, I found these today and I just randomly, I was going to buy them anyway, I just randomly scanned them and they were 15% off. Um, so these are Slim Jim Dare, so they're a little like Slim Jim stick. Uh, these are the freaking hot jalapeno kind. And so serving size is for four sticks. I would only have one as a snack, so um, for calories. So if you're only looking at one stick, divide all these numbers by four. Uh, so calories is 160, total fat 13, total carbs three, uh, fiber is less than one, sugar less than one, and protein seven. These, okay, so I have not tried this kind yet, but I have tried the lemon bar. They're the fiber one, 90 calorie, like brownie type things. The lemon bar, they're really good. Um, and then these are the chocolate chip cookie, which I've heard are also really good. Um, I have these maybe once every two weeks, um, just if I'm craving something sweet, uh, but they are so good. Um, so they are 90 calories, 3 grams of fat, 18 carbs, so there is a good amount of sugar in them. Um, five fiber though, and then eight sugar and less than one protein. So those are just as a treat, like I said, every now and then if I want a cookie or brownie type thing. Um, this is no sugar added Italian ice. I cannot find these um, everywhere, but I did find them at a grocery store that I went to the other day. So there's only 60 calories in each. I think in the regular ones there are 100 calories, um, but what really attracted me to them is the no sugar. Uh, or no sugar added. So there's 60 calories, no fat, uh, 20 grams of carbs, but I believe most of those carbs are from um, sugar alcohols. So there is one gram of sugar. And then these are kind of just some regular standard whatevers. Uh, these are no sugar added popsicles. I just kind of liked the flavors of them. They're the outshine. Uh, so there's black cherry, strawberry, kiwi, and mixed berry. Uh, each one has 25 to 30 calories in them. Um, and then one to two grams of sugars. Um, so those are just sugars from the actual fruit. Uh, and then a couple grams of sugar alcohols, no protein. And then these um, are the no sugar added fudge pops. I have been craving chocolate lately. Um, I'm not a huge chocolate person, but I have been lately. So these are 40 calories, um, one gram of fat, nine carbs, two fiber, two sugar, two sugar alcohols, and one protein. Um, and then something, hold on one second. Okay, super quick. I found these at the grocery store the other day. It's not a grocery store that I usually go to. I have seen them on Amazon, never ordered them. These are also a just-in-case situation, but they are called No Pudge Fudge Brownies. Um, you can actually make a single serving um, if you want. Uh, and, so, and you actually just mix the brownie mix with yogurt uh, and then heat it up. So... So for one single thing, as prepared, is 120 calories, no fat, uh, a lot of carbs. So there's tons of sugars in here, 
Uh, 22 sugars. So like I said, this isn't like dire need situation, but I'm going to cut this off and I'll see you in a minute. 